Hello guys and welcome to your tent tutorial in Visual Basics. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about another conditional statement called the select case um, statement. And what a select case is, it's basically um, a, a cleaner way to do if statements um, it, whenever it's necessary. And you'll understand the difference between when it's necessary and when it's not. For just one if statement it's really not that necessary to do a select case it doesn't really matter. You can still do it, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be as clean of a code and I'm sure it wouldn't run as smoothly. Now the first thing we're gonna do to start testing this code, um all I did was I made a new program with just one label on it so I can display something for the user to see what the code is actually doing. So we're gonna start out by declaring a variable and we're gonna call this dim int magic number as integer. Now we're just declaring a variable, um, int magic number. What this is going to be like a guessing game, but our computer is going to—we're automatically going to guess for the computer. We're going to set it to equal to something right now, and we're going to say the magic number is going to be five. Now that the magic number is five, we're going to select. We're going to create a select case. Now, what this code means that I'm typing that you have no idea what I'm doing. Um, select case is basically saying select a case from inside here and you'll get what I'm saying by select a case and this is saying int magic number and that's going to be the variable that select case is going to be working for this is going to come together in here in a second and you're going to understand this pretty easy um, we're going to go case is two or three um, now what this is saying is select a case um, whenever three um, we're going to put actually a relation relational operator and put three there. Um, now we're saying select a case, and this is going to be a case. Now, the reason why we're saying select a case because there's going to be more than one case, and we're going to put this to four. And this is saying select a case um, based on what the number is. And if int magic number is equal to five, then we're going to go uh, case is three, and it's going to go no, that's not right. And then we're going to go case is four, and then they're going to know that's not right. But what if we have something down here and says is equal to five? Then it's going to say um, this is true. So we're going to do what's in between this code and in select. Now, if it was this number, this was five, and this was four, it's going to do what's in between this and this, but it wouldn't run this code right here. It would just be what's in between this and right here. And now that you understand what is equal to five, it's basically just saying this number is equal to five or three or four. Um, but once these things are not true, it's going to keep going down. And what what do you want to say whenever that the number is not equal to any of those? You want to go to case else, if I can spell that right, and then click enter. And what this is saying, if none of these cases are true, then do this. Now we're going to be putting some code in here to test some of the stuff out. Now we're just going to put this in order so it'll be a little bit more easier to read. And now that we have int magic number equals five, let's discuss something uh, called, we're going to separate a bunch of numbers by commas. And we're going to put two, three, four. Um, let's put a comma there. Now what this is saying, um, if it's equal to, pretty simple, if it's equal to one, two, three, or four do what's in between here. Now I'm not going to leave this code up here because I want to do something with the other code but just so you know when you're saying case 1, 2 and you separate the numbers of the value of int magic would be that pretty much says if it's equal to 1, 2, 3, or 4 when it's separated by commas in a case select. Now we're going to control um, undo all this stuff and get it back there and we're going to discuss another one um, we're going to put this down here case um, let's go with 6 to 10. Now what this is basically saying is what you see. If the number is 6 to 10 and then do what's in between here. And now we're going to put some output in this boring code even though this ain't going to make it too exciting anyways. Um, the number in this case is 3. the number in this case is 4 and etc 
I'm going to type this real fast. The number in this case is four, five. And then you really don't need to uh, type out all this right here. This is just helping the visual learning part in this. That's why it's called a video tutorial. The we're going to say the number range in this tutorial is 6 through 10. And now we're going to set, um, actually for case 5, um, you've guessed the magic number. And we're going to run this code, and I'm going to show you what it does. Now it's going to say you've guessed the magic number because on form load it's going to say um, it's going to do this select case statement and it's going to say um, case is equal five do this you've guessed the magic number now what if this number was eleven um, which is not in the range of any our any of our um, case selects it's going to say nothing because we don't have any output in our case else statement which is where that's being handled um, not to do anything. Now, if we put it as, let's go 7, it's going to say the number range in this tutorial is 6 through 10. Now, that's pretty much all on select case statements. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about relational operators, which we're going to be going um, comparing two numbers based on your old math class, greater than, greater than or equal to, not equal to, all that good stuff. Uh, it's been fun. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, and goodbye.